think I'm ever gonna get used to having an intro, but hello, this is Maya Blue. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for tuning in. It's another cloudy day in Germany, but it's okay. Life goes on. If you click on this video, then you kind of already know what I'm gonna talk about. I will be talking about zero waste. I will talk about how to reduce your waste and how to reduce your plastic in particular. Mind you, I'm still a beginner, but this is something that I've been doing in the last one year and these are some tips that I want to share, but I also want your feedback. I want to see what your tips are, what you've been practicing, what you've been applying in your daily life and um, maybe take something from your experience. When I talk about zero waste, I don't necessarily mean having no trash whatsoever. Um, I just mean being conscious of the choices that you're making. So if you already know that there's so much plastic in the world, just try to reduce it in some ways. I'm aware that everyone's free time and working time differs, uh, but what I'm saying is just be aware and just be conscious of uh, what, the cho what choices you are making, but also of how much you can actually uh, spend your time to reduce this and how much you can invest. Not everyone can invest the same amount, but that's totally fine. But don't disregard the problem that we have with waste. Before I jump into showing you the items that I actually have, I want to say that you should always be prepared. So that's very crucial. If you go out and if you know that you're gonna buy something, then bring bags with you. Bring things that are gonna be useful. If you're on your vacation, bring something that's gonna help during your vacation not to buy more than necessary. You're also gonna save money. The first item, and this is a rookie item, if you're a beginner, this is something you definitely have to apply in your life, and this is bring bags. And when I say bags, I mean these bags. So these cotton bags, they're everywhere. Personally, I usually get these at conferences, so I don't really have to pay for them, but you, ha you can find them in any supermarket in Germany, though. Always bring one with you. Put it in your bag, put it in your backpack. Doesn't matter what you're bringing, get one. It's really gonna save your life. Talking about bags, what if you go to a supermarket and you're like, I really wanna buy apples and oranges and bananas and pears, and you have all of these plastic bags and don't use them. Do not use them, use these. I love these, these are really practical and these are actually pretty new. I had some before, but they were not good quality. So I bought these ones because they have good reviews on Amazon and I just love them. I don't know, they're so practical. They, they're they just like, you know, when they're environmentally friendly, you can not love them. When you buy them, you usually get them in different sizes. So you can get something like this is medium and this is small. So depending on what you wanna buy and how much you wanna buy, you can just grab the size that you need. The second tip is use jars. Use mason jars, use any type of jars, you can use any type of containers, um, anything that can help you store things like oats or seeds or maybe some powder. Um, these are very useful. So personally, mason jars are pretty expensive here. You can buy them, it's not, they are useful, it's not that they're that bad. But if you want a cheaper option, you can buy something like this. I already have, I have some buckwheat over here, so. But yeah, I usually bring this one and go to the store, fill it up and then uh, measure everything and that's what I pay. Um, this one was, I think, one euro fifty, so it's not that expensive, at least for me. If you want something cheaper, you can buy a package of these ones. Um, again, they were not that expensive. You get six of them if you go to like one dollar stores. But if you're like, hell no, I don't want to pay for jars, then just use jars that you already use. Just wash them, and I find it good. Uh, it, it functions, it works, and I have them. This one is from. Uh, pasta Napoli so um, who cares you know as long as they're serving their purpose it's fine so this is one like zero euro solution <laughs> so the next point actually focuses on reducing plastic so you are using some other uh, material but at least you're not using plastic which is really good because plastic is um, not a compostable so yeah don't do it um, so I buy bamboo brushes and um, Again, you can find them anywhere. I buy a package of them and then I use them and this can go up. Um, and they look something like this. Another thing that I like is that they are very sensitive with your teeth. So if you have some problems, then um, they're not gonna you know, ruin the uh, surface of your teeth. Yep, that's it. Again, if you can't really find something that's going to be a permanent solution for your zero waste hack, 
then just don't use plastic. Use wooden stuff and this is what I have, this is my brush and this is my comb. So um, yeah, they're, I like them, they're functional and they're maybe even better than the plastic ones. So um, definitely try to find one of these. Um, and they're, I think they're very easy to find. And if you wanna reduce paper, then just use these type of tissues. I know, everyone's gonna tell me, oh, this is what my grandparents use. Oh, I don't wanna use this. Well, your grandparents are very smart. Your grandparents know how to reduce waste. So listen to them. And also wash this at 90 degrees, definitely. You have to, you know, remove all the bacteria. Another one that I really, 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 really like, this is the greatest thing ever, the greatest invention ever, is actually a menstrual cup. And for um, security reasons, I'm not going to show you the menstrual cup, even though it's clean, I cleaned it, um, but I think it's uh, yuck. So I'm just gonna show you like this. This is the brand that I use. It's the thing that I found on Amazon. I will insert a picture so that you kind of know how it looks like, um, but it's basically, it's a cup uh, where um, you would use it instead of your pads or your tampons. And it really, again, saves money and you don't really smell at all during that period and it's easy to maintain you just wash it it's great i love it i love it love it we all know the water is very important and that everyone's drinking it but think about all of these plastic bottles that you're just throwing away um and the important thing is that in germany actually water from the sink or tap water is the cleanest thing you can drink so that's definitely something that i am applying in my day-to-day -day life and i always bring something some container for my water so i personally use this um this is just a water bottle which is from glass and this part is from plastic but i wash it and um i've been using it for one year already so uh, it's pretty useful i uh, imagine how many plastic i've saved and not wasted i'm just amazed but i'm definitely thinking of buying something more practical in the future uh but for now this is a great solution so you don't have to pay a lot of money you know what i mean if you're a straw junkie and you just want to spice up your smoothie or your drink you can always buy alternatives to plastic straws so what i mean by that is that you can use glass straws if these ones are the ones that you prefer um you can also buy metal straws so something like this and if you're sitting over there and thinking like oh yuck no it's dirty inside i know how to wash it well you can wash it with this Whenever you buy a straw, you'd always get something like this, so like a little brush, um, and you can just wash it. If you're like, okay, that all sounds great, but what do I do when I wanna throw trash and I wanna throw it in a bin, and which plastic bag should I use? I don't want it to be disgusting, I wanna use something. If this is something you definitely need and you feel like at least you need to use to transition, then you can use um, decomposable bags. So you can find them in the end, but they look something like this. So they would have a sign that it is decomposable. Just read the label and make sure that it is decomposable so that um, you know that it's not something that will damage this earth too much. <laughs> So some of the items I didn't really include because I don't really use them. So I don't drink coffee, so you know, I don't use thermal cups. Um, I drink smoothies, but at home, so I don't really bring smoothie jars um, and stuff like that. So you can also include things like that. Um, but um, again, it's each to their own. And um, also I'm sure that there are things that I still don't know. So now I'm inviting you. If you have some tips, please let me know um, how I can change my zero waste hacks that I have that I'm using. Um, if I'm using something wrong, you can also point that out. I always want to learn, I always want to improve, and I feel that doing this for the environment is just the best thing that we can do. So thank you for sticking through this video. I hope that I've helped you somehow and have the most amazing day. Oh, it's sunny, it's sunny. And uh, yeah, see you soon, bye.